Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from MyJuice Electronics and today we are going to be reviewing a Eton DC1 drive which is their uh, lower grade of the drive so uh, I've not seen much much of these around so definitely keen to stuck in and figure it out not figure it out check it out what it's all about so again it's usually going to be uh, uh, three videos uh, one again is going to be first for commissioning the drive like run drive local mode and uh, going through terminals and bits and pieces like that second video two three wire control with the potentiometer and in the third video, we're going to be looking into a bit more deeper and other other forms of uh, controls, like remote control, like uh, MOP control, and uh, which is two two button uh, up and down to uh, speed control, and also the uh, multi frequency setup. So uh, all the manuals and uh, related videos and everything, uh, everything that I think will be benefiting you in any way, they are going to be in the description below. So do definitely check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, all wired in. So uh, let's go through the actual uh, the, the connection terminals, as always we do. Uh, right near the top, this is where your line and neutral would come in, and uh, obviously you've got earth for that as well. And right here in the bottom, uh, you will have UVW and earth as well. Down there, this is where it basically much carries on to the motor. Uh, then you have all these terminal uh, blocks in here, as you can see down there, I took something out, so basically the uh, There is a little diagram in here. This is the only diagram you could possibly find in the entire manual Zoom in so it's pretty much showing you what is 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 set as a default in there So all you need to do is like uh, uh, Pull it out and uh, have a quick look at it. I'm not sure what these things are for when I take them out There's nothing really in there. So we're probably for something uh, extra uh, extra for different uh, model types. So this is the DC1 version, so uh, it's, it's quite a narrowed down version. So uh, and then we got the PU connection. Uh, this is where you connect to your uh, to your laptop and uh, use the software. Again, you need to have a converter, which is another 110, 110 quid. I don't like, I don't understand why these why these uh, manufacturers, especially the uh, newer models coming out with such a with still with the uh, required uh, interfaces to connect to the laptops why can't they just add you to uh, usb i don't know so and then um, it's, it's all these front terminals in here so uh from uh one two and three and uh four this is going to be used for your uh digital inputs and uh, where, where the one is going to be your source which is 24 volt and then uh, the one two three and four is your digital inputs and uh, five, six, seven is going to be your uh, analog uh, input for a uh, potentiometer, and then is uh, eight and a nine is going to be for your analog output. You can you do both uh, current at twenty zero to twenty milliamps and ten zero to ten volts for it. And obviously the ten and eleven, as usual, uh, there would have to be some form of a a relay output, and that's what it is that for. So and then in the front, you have a start stop button. Okay, and uh, up and down button start stop self experiment. Okay, it's pretty much to uh, enter you in the enter in your menu. And to do that, you just hold the button and uh, you are uh, straight in there. And obviously, up and down buttons are used for that. And up and down button buttons can also be used, which we're going to be doing in a minute uh, for the demonstration of local run. They can be used as well to adjust uh, your uh, speeds. So uh, and to leave to leave, uh, you just hold okay. Oh, uh, hold okay again and uh, it will uh, leave the menu so and the next we're going to have a look at how to reset the uh, the drive uh, to, uh, to a factory reset if you ever need to do that you need to hold the three buttons at the same time so hopefully i can show you this is up and down button and stop button just hold it until you see the uh, the little uh, the um, description on top says p dash default so it's pretty much default and then just click off again and that way you have a reset all the parameters so the next step uh, once we've done that we're pretty much ready to start entering all the uh, uh, motor details in it and for that uh, let's start with the uh, p1 we're just gonna go quickly for because uh, from p1 to p pretty much 13 it's basically the one the uh, parameters you need to set to pretty much get you going and uh, after p14 you just have to enter the password and uh, and i'll show that in a minute how that's done so first the p1 is uh, pretty much it, it is your uh, maximum frequency 
Let's have a look at that. It's 50. If we leave it that. So uh, second one is uh, minimum frequency. We can leave that at the zero. And uh, third one and fourth one, acceleration deceleration. If you have watched my other videos, I always like to demonstrate my drives at one second. And uh, let's do that one as well at one second. Just to not wait till the drive ramps up over time, I want to demonstrate something. Then we have the P5, you sort of choose what sort of uh, stop mode you want to. And at the moment, by default, it, it is a ram down to stop. No, sorry, it's a coast to stop. So um, when enable signal is removed, the drive output is immediately disabled and the motor will uh, pretty much freewheel to the stop. If you want to use the acceleration to make sure you are uh, selecting that to, to zero. So, oh. You left that one out so uh, at the moment as you can see is at one we leave it at one because i don't uh, actually yeah, i might as well change it to oh, uh, change it to zero so and then, then the sixth one is a uh, energy optimizer if it is for the fans do optimization but if your load is going to be a uh, all over the place up and down for especially for some converse you put something heavy on it and things like that leave it as default but if it's if it's for the for like fans for the load is not going to be jumping around definitely change that one to a uh, uh, one so that will sort of uh, save save some power so uh, definitely uh, check that out I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna leave that as it is so it doesn't really make any difference to me in here and then obviously in a p7 uh, it is a uh, what voltage you are in here in UK we are uh, 230 volts which is already set as a uh, uh, where's my mic in here? Uh, as the default so that's good in here the Ooh, uh, the P8 is going to be, this is where we have to enter the motor current, so do make sure that one is exactly the same as what your motor is, and my one is 1.1, uh, so press OK for that one, and uh, then there's a motor, motor frequency, which should be by default 50 Hz, yes, it's depending which country you're in and where you're buying the drive from. And, uh, and then, 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 then there's a motor nominal speed, which is an RPM. So if you are going to be uh, monitoring your drive's frequency uh, on, uh, with RPM, so make sure that is entered correctly. So uh, uh, that at the moment I have zero in there. And when it stands at a zero, the maximum speed limit will be displayed in a hertz. So as soon as you start add more, then it's going to be displayed. Speed is going to be displayed in a... Uh, uh, RPM. So I'm going to leave the zero because I like uh, watching my RPM in a uh, uh, frequency. And then it obviously is the, uh, the, the 11th is the V boost, uh, the, which basically voltage is reduced to increase the applied motor's voltage as low output frequency in order to improve low speed and standing torque. So this is basically to torque uh, control. So if you need uh, the torque control, that, then use that parameter. Why is it like that? And then the, and in P12, this is where you pretty much uh, select uh, how you're going to be controlling the drive. We're going to skip that one for now because uh, we'll leave that at the, as the default. We're going to crack on with that in a minute. At the moment, stands in the zero where it's the terminal control, which is not good for us. But we go that through that in a minute. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. This is all the data you really need to enter into the into the drive and you're really pretty much ready to go but not yet because you still need to uh, select the, the, the P12 so where the, the drive is going to be connect, uh, controlled but before we do that let's quickly show you how to enter that password so once you get to the 14 so if you oh, keep doing that if you want to uh, progress further uh, further in parameters you will need to enter the password which is uh, as default stands at 101 that can be changed if you wish to but why would you because that will mess other people up so and by entering that one you can see now you can go uh, further than uh, 14 and we can be looking those parameters in upcoming videos so the next step we need to set up how to uh, control the drive uh, from a uh, front keypad and to run this uh, drive in a uh, local mode there's pretty much a, it's, it's a graph also not sort of a graph it's sort of a relationship between p12 and p15 is something that you need to get your head around. So it's pretty much I'll show you this uh, page in here. Uh, here we go. So if you if you look at it and say, if P12 equals zero, and it sort of tells you terminal based operations, so it's pretty much tell you what each, if you, what each 15 will do with the IOs. So they, they're gonna get reconfigured. 
as you can see now, the terminal based operation that will be only operated from terminals. So, so the front keypads will not work. But it's, it's sort of I'll show you how that works in 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 a exam, quite a bit of examples. But sort of give you an idea. So if I if it's like if my P12 is going to be on zero, my front keypad is not going to work at all. So for the front keypad to work, uh, you need to go and select P12 equals one. So uh, and in here, as you can see down there, then it's a digital set point value and one operation direction. So it's pretty much tells you set point value will be a from a front keypad. It explains a bit more in actual when you read up about the parameter itself. But as you can see now, if my by default uh, P15 is actually five, so nothing's going to be happening. So you need to make sure the P15 is changed to, to zero. So basically, much, pretty much the start button is going to work and up and down uh, the up and down uh, keypad is going to work and uh, digital forward direction uh, that one's not going to work so it's too so uh, it's pretty much explain you how that works and uh, there's an option there's option if you have p12 to a uh, one it will, it will you, you won't be able to change direction but if, if p12 is two you'll be able to change direction which you can dem demonstrate that now so uh, if you if you are in p if, if let's say let's try out the p to uh, p12 uh, equals one and then oh and uh p50 oh, i'll keep doing that and uh p5 uh, also we need for the, for the thermos to work out oh, p5 always has to be at zero so i uh, make sure that is the case so and one more thing before you get can get running the terminal one and terminal two has to be linked out if they're not linked out, nothing's going to work. So uh, that's just like a, it's, it's like an enable for it. I couldn't find in the manual where that says, but I, uh, I, I remember because I watched with drive so many times. And uh, if a front keypad doesn't work, I'm always looking for some form of enable signal for it. So when I found that that is a uh, from one to two, most likely that information is somewhere in the installations manual, but I'm not sure. I couldn't find anything in, up, uh, in the operations manual. So anyway, so uh, once you do that, just make sure you, before you start running that one and two is uh, linked out. So it gives you that a uh, uh, enable signal. So to start, if you click on the start signal, look at that, that the switching frequency is actually, let's have a look what the switching frequency, because the one thing this drive has provided is the switching frequency and by default, what is that's in P17, let's have a look quickly on the P17. Switching frequency is the what controls the noise. Oh, what am I doing it? Switching frequency by default is on 16 hertz. Jeez, that is really good. If you should see the noise of the motor, that is really good switching frequency. So by default, such switch and any can go to 24 and 32. Pretty much the higher the switching frequency, the, the lower the noise of the motor. So but it comes to the, its, its own consequences. So 16 is brilliant for the default. So yeah. So yeah, if you if you uh, in a start mode, then you control your speed with and look how smooth it runs. It's absolutely beautiful. I like it. And obviously it's using the acceleration speed. And if, if, as you can see down there, if you start now, nothing happens to the start button if you click it again. But if you uh, want to control for key, uh, from front keypad and want to go the backwards, which is, it might be a bit awkward because you have to go forwards to go backwards. So uh, you can, you can go to 12 and change that to two and uh, leave that on. And now when you click start and click start again, it will go in reverse, which is a bit, uh, but it is what it is. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you pretty much get your uh, Eaton a DC1 drive going. It is a very, very basic drive. And I mean, everything you need is there. Everything most of, for most uh, uh, applications this drive is used is there. So it's a definitely a, 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 a bang on for it. So. Uh, uh, and but all but uh, like uh, configuring your own digital input and things like that option is not there because everything is preset. You just have to select the. It's, it's like I think a group of macros, which you're going to be looking into uh, upcoming videos, how those macro groups are actually working and how to set them all up. Wiring diagrams is lacking quite a bit, so uh, for a lot of people this might be a big problem, especially when you want to want to want to want to. It's like uh, it's like a basic this this guy which I struggled to find it. It's like the wiring. Uh, it's, you've got very basic wiring as I showed you in here already. What this is, and then that's all you pretty much have. 
So I'll, uh, there's going to be two two manuals in uh, in the uh, description below, one for installations and one for for programming. Definitely check it out. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, smash that like, and uh, if you didn't dis uh, smash a dislike, uh, comment below. Uh, any questions and uh, anything you would like to talk about, definitely uh, comment below, and I'll answer them as soon as and as accurate as I can. So uh, and uh, if you like to see if you like what we're doing in the here and then would like to see a lot more, definitely click that subscribe and notification button as well. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.